going on, YouTube world? We are KRT Life. KRT Life with the Y. I'm your brother Reza. Your sister Kat is working on the camera machine right now. And today I'm in my wrenching gear because I'm going to be doing, <coughs> excuse me, an oil change on the C230 compressor. <laughs> For today's job are as follows we're going to use a handy dandy little oil removing cap we're going to use a 13 millimeter uh socket on a little extension with this uh ratchet this ratchet right here is sitting here just because i don't know why we might use this extension when we get up under i doubt we'll need it though we have our filter medium that we're going to be changing and we have some amazon's finest there we go amazon's finest full synthetic zero w40 motor oil we're probably gonna need about six quarts of this so yep we have a little bit more left from the other job so we're gonna jump right on into this change the oil and just when i thought i wasn't gonna use this extension i was probably the first thing i grabbed first thing we're gonna do is remove the uh filter cap cover from right here so we can pull the filter medium out and put the new filter in place um on these cars you have to be in the top and the bottom to do this typically what people consider the right way there is a way that you can um siphon the oil out with the oil pump right here if you pull the check uh thing out it's right here if you pull a little check thing out stick? yes if you pull the dipstick out <laughs> my dipstick is like all oh, crazy looking if you pull <laughs> if you pull the dipstick out you can use a pump to pump the oil out and that way you don't have to go into the car when you do an oil change on most mercedes but um, you can go into the car and do it either way. It doesn't really matter. Same in. Okay, so here we go. Let's start. <laughs> so first. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. I can't help it. <laughs> Check thingy out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So first thing we're going to do is remove this cap. We're going to take this little spanner right here. And you don't want to over torque these things because these things are plastic and they can break. And I actually had one break on the G-Wagon when I was doing oil on the G-Wagon. Right. Yep. The inside part of it that holds the filter in place actually broke off. You don't remember that? Uh -uh. Yep. So pull, unscrew this first. Oh yeah, no, I do remember. Mm -hmm. And I was hoping all that plastic didn't get stuck down in there. Yes, I remember that. So this comes out like so. There's really no way you could do this without making some kind of mess, unfortunately, because of the way that Mercedes has designed their system. Ugh. Get off there. All right. So you just got to be ready to clean up the mess when it happens, and it will happen. All right, so. This is loose now. Loose is loose. All right, ready? I'm going to, actually, I'm going to move that up here so I can do this faster. And make hopefully make less mess we're gonna sit that right there and we're gonna go one two three go okay not too bad and uh yeah <laughs> that takes care of this portion of the uh do-it-yourself thing now we're gonna go under the car and we're gonna drain all the oil out that's in there there's probably not much oil left in there though because okay quick secret this car probably hasn't had an oil change in two or three years. So we don't even know how much oil is in this car. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, so here we are under the trusty C230 compressor. I'm gonna go ahead and take this drain plug out and uh, the oil shall floweth from below. Right, the oil is finished draining gonna reinstall the uh drain plug like so and you always want to start these by hand to make sure you don't cross thread them because if you cross thread them then guess what you probably will end up having to change this whole oil pan and you don't want that so all right, we got the oil drain plug back plugged in. We got it good and tight. We have it torqued down to the uh, torque specification of good and tight. So now we're gonna go back upstairs and finish the job. All right, so welcome back upstairs. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is uh, throw our filter median on and our O-ring on the actual uh, holder for the uh, filter median. 
and it's very easy to do. First, you gotta remove it from the box, like so. I don't later, I just threw it over there. Oh, they actually included a crush washer. I should probably use this crush washer on the drain plug. So I'm gonna go downstairs and do that real quick. I'm not gonna put y'all through that, but I'm gonna use the crush washer, and then I'm gonna put the O-ring on uh, the uh, filter housing, and then replace the filter element. Like, easy peasy. Some people will pour the oil in this way and there's nothing wrong with doing that. It actually makes it pretty easy. But this one's uh, oil fill cap is right here. So I'm just gonna pour it in this way probably. I don't know. I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna go that way. So now I'm going to screw this in and it actually has a torque specification on top of it. It says 25 Newton meters which is, I don't know how many foot pounds of torque. It's probably really, really low though. Something probably like maybe like two or three foot pounds of torque, but I'm gonna go and cross reference it off of the torque wrench and see for y'all. Definitely 25 Newton meters. I can feel it. My arm has a torque uh, meter on it. It's been wrenching so long. This hose is just about to break. Well, all right, we're gonna go ahead and fill this thing up and put some oil in it, crank it up and let it warm up and then check our oil level and see where we are. That is our goal. Right now we should be at nil. And we're up on the ramp, so we should definitely be at nil. Yep, we're at nil. So I'm gonna go ahead and put five quarts in here and then see um, how much more I need to put in to get it up to where it needs to be. We're gonna see how much of an expert I am. We're gonna see if I can do this with no funnel. No funnel, no trouble. Oh, look at that. Yay. I'm an expert. Woo. All right. I'm an expert. Look at that, I don't even have to look at it. I just know the oil is going where it needs to go. <laughs> we'll see in a second. <laughs> this can make our day really long, so let's just make sure we look at it. We're going to go ahead and crank this thing up and check our oil level and uh, put the car level with the ground and uh, check the oil level again after we let the car run for a second instead of waiting 25 minutes to check the oil like you had to do on the 997. It sounds, I don't know about better, but it sounds. It's, it's got a lot of problems in there, so. <laughs> Strategic use of that almighty zip tie, I'm gonna pretty much call this one done. We are Carity Life, Carity Life for Y. That's how you change the oil on a 1999 vintage C230 compressor, um, very easy, very straightforward, and very done. Time to go have dinner, I'm tired. Peace, we'll see y'all wrenching on something next time we wrench on something.